Hi guys, Wendy here again from Toon Push Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be trying out some resin. Would never have believed it, right? <laughs> this is a new resin to me. I've never tried this resin before and I've tried a lot of resins with so many different companies. But this company contacted me, said they've bought out a new resin. Apparently it's bubble free, crystal clear and no odour. Now those three together have been claimed on a lot of resins I've tried. So let's just have a go with a little mould and see if the claims are correct. The resin is, let's resin. I'm going to give my honest opinion. <laughs> let's go. So I've grabbed an old mould out of my box. It's a letter mould. It's quite a big one as well. And I thought I'd put some druzy pieces in a couple of the letters to see how they come out. So I'm just putting some 100% silicone on the back of the druzy piece. That'll help it adhere to the side of the mould. So hopefully the resin won't go underneath it so much. Now whenever I'm trying a new resin, I put it through a few tests. For my own peace of mind so I know what it can do. So this is my first test to see if it is actually bubble free. To see if it comes out cleanly from the mould and whether it's crystal clear. Got to be honest, those claims come on most resins, so you just take it with a pinch of salt, really, don't you? <laughs> the only way to really tell is to try it out or to get someone else to try it out for you. Let's resin products are really popular, I love their products, but I've never used their resin. I don't quite know why, I just haven't. So when they offered me to try this new one of theirs, I jumped at the chance. So I'm going to give you a completely unbiased opinion of what I think of this resin. I'm just going to be honest, that's all I can be. Even comes with its own little stir stick, which I do have, I have a few of them. They are brilliant for stirring resin. And it has a little pamphlet in it that gives you safety tips and guides on how to use the resin if you haven't used it before. Make sure you read that because it's always helpful to know every resin is different now most of this video is in real time i do speed up parts so that it's easy to watch but i don't cut anything out so you're actually seeing what i'm doing i'm going to be pouring about 80 ml of resin so that's 40 ml of part a and 40 ml of part b and these bottles are very secure, nice lids, and they have a little safety cap inside as well to help with traveling and stop spillages. Now first impressions when I'm pouring it into the cup, it looks like every other resin, really. Now at this point, I didn't have a respirator on. I wanted to see if the no fumes was accurate. And you know what? I couldn't smell a thing, not a thing. I did put my respirator on afterwards, but I was actually stunned that I couldn't smell anything at all. Of course, you should still wear a respirator without question, really. Now, I did stir this quite slowly. Whenever you stir resin, to put less bubbles in it, you stir it gently, not speedy like times eight I'm showing you here. But you don't want to see me stirring for three minutes. So I speeded it up. And don't forget to scrape the sides of the pot and to scrape your stick and to make sure you get all the resin from the bottom. When I finished stirring, I was happy that it was completely mixed. I was quite impressed. There doesn't seem to be that many bubbles in there. Now I did do it gently, which you're meant to do when you stir resin anyway. But even though I did it gently, there's still not that many bubbles in there. So I'm just going to pour out some clear resin into a couple of the letter moulds. I figured the clear was a good indication of the resin. It would show every flaw if you do a clear piece. So I'm doing one completely clear, i.e. the X, and one with a druzy. It's worth mentioning here I did not pre-warm this resin. It was just sitting in my room at an average temperature of around 25 degrees. That's it, I didn't warm it at all. Now I also wanted to put some color in to see how that worked with this resin. So I'm using the Let's Resin 
as your blue obviously I want you to see what I'm doing so I'm moving things around a couple of drops in the resin just to give it a bit of color and to see how it works to see how it mixes because that is important anybody that uses resin will normally put color in at some point again I speeded this up to times four just so you can see what I'm doing and pouring it gently into the mold you might be wondering why I'm using the druzy pieces. Well, druzy pieces are notorious for catching bu bubbles, so I thought it would be a good test for the resin. Plus the fact I love druzies. So yeah, I thought I'd add in some nice rose red as well. Now this, <laughs> this ink did actually squirt out pretty much of this bottle, <laughs> but it was good, it was all fine. If I wanted a precise amount, I think I would have been annoyed, but I didn't. It's all good. Again, speeding it up, just so it's easy for you to watch. And that's a gorgeous color. You can mix colors quite easily with alcohol inks. And I just thought I'd use the rest of the resin in a few of the letters. If you're new here, welcome to my little channel. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, then maybe you'd consider doing so. It doesn't cost anything and it will help my channel out. I upload every Tuesday night and sometimes other times as well. So make sure you ring the notification bell. So that's it really. I used a long neck lighter just over the top of the resin. I did absolutely nothing else to it. I covered it and I left it for 24 hours. Let's see what it looks like tomorrow. So the following day, and I'm wondering how this is going to turn out. So I thought I'd start with the darker colors. And looking at darker colors, they seem absolutely crystal clear. So far, I'm impressed. Look at that. I can't see any bubbles in there, can you? By this point, I'm thinking, really? It can't happen to every piece, surely. Not every piece has no bubbles in it. Can you see anything in there? I can't. Okay, so this is an old mold. There are little flecks of dust in it. Even though I cleaned it, it still was sitting for a long time not being used. So there was even some little tiny bits or glitter in there but I can't see any bubbles it's difficult to say on the darker ones gotta be honest okay so let's get to the lighter colors this will show any bubbles or any imperfections in there any micro bubbles anything it will show it let's get the druzy piece out has got a little film of resin over the back but nothing too major which will pop right off. I am actually quite surprised how well this is cured. Apparently you can pour this resin from 0 to 15 mil and these are about 7 or 8 mil so they're not that deep. Wow look at that clarity. I am stunned. I am really stunned. I've never used a resin like this before. Not with that few bubbles. This didn't go in a pressure pot. This was just sitting on my worktop in a normal average temperature room. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the real test, the completely clear resin. Look at that, blown away, absolutely stunned. You can understand if one piece has no bubbles, you got lucky. You can understand if maybe a couple of pieces have no bubbles. You got extremely lucky. I haven't seen any bubbles in any of these. Not one. Any of these pieces. I am literally stunned. This resin is incredible. And no, I'm not just saying it. I actually mean it. It blew me away the clarity, no odour and zero bubbles for a 24 hour cure resin. I mean, what? I had a little bit of trouble getting this druzy piece out but I got it out in the end. Pops off really. But look how solid that piece of resin is. This is only 24 hours later. 
It says on the instructions fully cured in two to four days. That's fully cured in my opinion. It may get a little firmer in the next couple of days, but that is cured without a doubt. And there is no bubbles, none whatsoever. Can you see that? That is just amazing. I've never come across resin like this, not ever. And I've used loads of different types of resin, loads. Pressure pot resin, yes, you can get no bubbles in pressure pot. But this wasn't in a pressure pot. This was just sitting on my work surface and there is no bubbles in any of these pieces. It is crystal clear. I will be doing more tests on this resin. I want to see how I can push it, what it's capable of. This is a rushed video really because I needed to get everyone to see this. I cannot believe it, I'm still stunned. Thanks for watching this one. I really appreciate your views. Have a great week and happy crafting.